I started seeing how there were few women working in the technology space and I decided that I was going to do something about it. My name is Aurel Nualeshi. I'm the founder and executive director of WTech. I decided to establish um, the center because I am passionate about women and girls. I wanted women and girls to live more empowered lives um, economically and also socially as well. The low numbers of women in technology in Nigeria is really a big problem. The um, latest figures that we have from the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics show that approximately 20% of the ICT, so the Information and Communication Technology Workforce, are made up of women. So that means that the remaining 80% are men. That's a big problem. So, yeah. Before the training, I did not have any tech skills. I really did not know what I wanted to study or have any defined career path. But at this center, I was able to learn a lot about programming, robotics, engineering, mathematics, and science. The training has really impacted me and given me confidence to actually build an app with one of my friends, one of the friends I made from the, from the camp. And we're building a study app. We're still discussing some things, but yes, it's something I hold close to my heart. So I had the confidence to really go ahead to study a computer science course because I had been given the training at this center. So all that has actually given me the confidence to do that because I didn't study anything related to technology. If there's any advice that I can give to young girls is that you have the ability to do anything. Before I came here, I also felt like, you know, maybe science and technology is not for me. Oh, you know, I'm a girl. Maybe I can't really do it. But I had that confidence boost that I can really do anything that I set my mind to. We want to have at least 10% of our alumni who have graduated from university working in science, technology, engineering related jobs. Um, we started operations in 2008, so our very first set of alumni are just starting their careers. So hopefully in five years time, they will be more grounded in their careers and they will really be serving as mentors and inspirations for the girls to come.